welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93. What's up, DBD93 squad? I want to say thank you to all our new subscribers for subscribing to the channel, as well as our returning subscribers for coming back, and to everyone that watched the video that are not subscribed to the channel, welcome. So you guys, this reading will be for our Divine Feminine, and it will be the energy check. Um... To view this video, you do not have to be a female. You can be a male embodying divine feminine energy. So you guys, make sure in this video you take what resonates and let what doesn't fly bye-bye. Without further ado, let's get into your reading. So the first card we're going to go into is whom do you need to forgive? As you release old anger or resentment, you will find that your wishes will come true. You have walk away, leave the unhealthy situation, and enjoy the new doors that open as a result. You have let go. As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. You have assertiveness, stand up for your beliefs, and only say yes if you really want to. You have travel, an upcoming trip proves to be life-changing in positive ways. And for your last card from this deck, you received your wish is granted. What you ask for is coming true. Okay, you guys. So we're going to get into your headspace, Divine Feminine. The first card you have, and this is actually the same card the Divine Masculine had as well. So you have the two of Raphael, two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kind spirits, don't give up on those you love. You have the two of Gabriel. Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. And for the last card you have is the Queen of Ariel. Nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Practical and wise advice. So now we're going to go into your heart space. You have the seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. You have the number two, which is the high priestess. Powerful psychic insights, reflection and meditation that proves valuable information, sorry, that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Page of Michael, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Okay, now we're going to go into your current situation or we could say like your 3D space, okay? You have the three of Raphael. Reasons to celebrate. A community of friends. Happy announcements regarding relationships or children. You have number 16, change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free of procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. You have number five, which is divine guidance. The search of meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. 
Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. And then we had one card that fell out on top of that to clarify. You have the Four of Michaels. Insights that comes from quiet meditation. The need for more sleep or time off. Seek relief from stress. Okay. Now we're going to go into your action. You have 21, which is the world. A very happy ending. Coming full circle. Spiritual growth and insight. I believe the Divine Masculine also had this same card, you guys. You have number 18, the moon. The opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. You have the Knight of Gabriel. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. Then you had a few clarifiers follow on top of that card, you guys. You have the Knight of Raphael. Committed romantic relationships. Being swept off your feet. Situations or topics that make your heart flutter. You have the seven of Ariel. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavors. And then for your last card here, you have the three of Ariel. Do what you love. A time of great personal growth in your career or art, excuse me, artistic endeavors. Working with others in a cooperative manner. So let's get an oracle for you guys. Okay. Let's see if we can get a few more. But you have through... Through prayer and meditation, I create a ripple effect of peace in the world. You also have, I let go of the shadow of the past by seeing someone for the first time with the eyes of love. And the last card you received is, in every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me towards right-minded thinking and the energy of love. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. And if your bell notifications are not turned on, please turn your bell notifications on. I want to pull one more card, okay? Because this one is like really calling out to me. Instead of praying for an outcome, I pray for the highest good of all. Okay, so you guys, that will end this video. I will see you guys in the next reading. Have a great day. Bye.